Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We're recording this just days, uh, like what? Two, two, two days. Two days after the Perseverance rover landed on Mars. Oh, that was such an exciting like stream and stuff. I, oh, we enjoyed it together on Twitch. It was fantastic. Uh, very good times ahead, man. It just, uh, just eats me out, especially the presentation of how, if you haven't seen it yet, look that up uh, go watch the nasa broadcast whatever you can do uh but i just really love how interactive that experience was and even having a website where you can sort of live through in real time uh like we did uh, i'll you know i'll leave a link to the twitch broadcast down below you can go check that out if you'd like to it was a really fun time anyway welcome back to surviving mars my schedule's still crazy i'm sorry uh, we have uh, some unemployed people. I'm kind of, you know, trying to get them some jobs. We've got 28 people homeless so far. We got renegades, you know, doing their renegade things. And uh, our temperature's up to 10.25%. I think you need to get to 50% before you stop the cold waves entirely, I think. But uh, we're going to start working on atmosphere. We're going to start working on making the place green. Uh, a little in a little bit because now we have a full-on electronics factory it's set up it's built the big one is here and that is going to help us do so much more than this little guy here uh, i'm actually going to go ahead and salvage this little guy here and uh what i want to do is set this up for a tunnel to potentially go this way and uh and get some additional uh get some stuff going on this direction. So I need this dome and then eventually this one, and then we can access these two rare metal extractions or extractors here. Speaking of which, we have deep metal now, right? So that's what this one is. Very high grade, tons of stuff. You might remember this, I don't know. It's been a while since, so I'm kind of recapping myself here a little bit too. Um, I keep having renegade steel, concrete, electronics, rare metals. They, they, they steal quite a bit. Uh, every now and then they steal. Uh, and it's, it's a perpetual thing. It's only like one, two, sometimes three resources at a time, but it happens so repetitively that you end up losing quite a bit over time. And since we can't ship things from Earth very well, um, I want to try to maybe get these security stations fully staffed and try to offset this because we got eight renegades in the dome here. This one just got built. We put some people to work. Four renegades in this dome. Yikes. And uh, well, what else is going on? I got these power this uh this new power area here is set up and i just built this new battery these of course are gonna be charging very slowly but uh that's a thing we got this uh scrubber is up and operational <clears throat> and then i need this one here built sorry i'm losing my voice here need that one right there built too uh so once that's done then these two can cover each other and then uh that's kind of it you know People are getting graduated from Martian University. It's it's a thing. We're we're just trying to basically live through the the winter. Pretty much 16 hours left on that. Uh, I I do have an expedition planned for this rocket. This is our curiosity. Oh, uh, you know what? We should name this one. Uh, we should definitely name this one Perseverance, shouldn't we? I think we should. Uh, is there a way to? Yeah, right here. There it is. Name this one. Uh, per. Severance. I think that's how you. I think that's how you spell it. <clears throat> there we go. And then if we ever get another rocket, we'll either name it Opportunity or Ingenuity or something like that. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna name this Dome Ingenuity. I'm, I'm going to. I'm gonna name this one Ingenuity. I think that's how you. I think that's how you spell it. There you go. This one's Ingenuity now. Okay. Now I, I know that you have. We have some comments about how to name things. I will get to those. I'm sorry. I, I didn't get to them before sitting down here. My life right now is scheduled to where I have maybe an hour of free time at most pretty much every day. And uh, I have not been spending that on, uh, on well, on full-time content creation, unfortunately. I've been spending that on kicking back, relaxing, and enjoying the, the small silences of life that I can <laughs> pretty much. Let's watch some TV shows. I, I, once in a while, you got to do that, all right? Uh, so anyway... I have one quick concern here, and that has to do with kids. We only have one kid in the whole colony, and that's because I said births are forbidden, right? So I'm gonna reinstate births temporarily because we're not using our facilities. We're gonna start maintaining this building and we're not getting full utilization of it. 
but we're also going to be expanding domes now and we're going to have more places for people to live so this whole 30 people homeless factor is going to go away but if i don't allow if i don't allow births right now we're eventually going to get to the point where like we have a hundred middle-aged people and uh nobody coming up the backside for them right nobody coming up uh and covering for them when they uh, get too old so uh, we need to do that Going along that note, hello, Basic Dome. I forget what I'm going to do with you. I think this is just another farming dome, right? Possibly, because there's no real resources here to, uh, to, 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 to gather and stuff. So I think this was going to be another farming dome. Now, somebody asked, why not use the, out, the outdoor ranches and stuff, right? Uh, and that's a good question. Why not use these outdoor ranches? Why not, um, you know, these right here? And uh, to be fair, uh, I didn't use them because I uh, was wrong about the maintenance for them. Um, so this is a ranch that goes indoors, and this is an outdoor ranch. I thought the outdoor ranch had machine parts maintenance. It's actually polymers maintenance, which makes a little bit more sense. So the outdoor ranch does make some sense. We can place it within a area for the scrubber, right? And then it can do awesome uh, things with the scrubber nearby. Okay, so let's go like do this. There we go cover the other scrubber so we we could do that and uh i probably will because it's uh it's outside dome and it, it works really well that way um but i thought it was machine parts maintenance i was trying to sort of mitigate that uh, i was trying to not have so much maintenance on that um probably should put it somewhere where it's not going to no if i put it right here outside this dome both domes can work it and it could be hooked up to the water but also, I, I wanted it to be in range of the subsurface heater. And it's not going to be there. It will be if I put it over here. And then both of these domes could work it. That's not a bad idea. We'll do one outdoor ranch. Just because you asked so nicely. <laughs> we'll do one. So this will go, I guess, here. Because you asked so nice. Uh... I love being patronizing sometimes. Also, just so he'll get off my back. I know what you're doing. Large wind turbine. All right. I like the little ones. The Your ability to shape what, you know, you can put them where you want. They're, they're, they fit better. They have basically the same impact. Uh, they the same output, same maintenance, all that stuff. But you want me to put one of these stupid things in? Fine, we will. And I can't rotate it, which is the reason why I hate using it. But you know what? Fine. We'll do it. We'll put it right here for you, okay? Big ass wind turbine. You know, I kind of want it to be... I want it to stand out so that everyone can look and see how silly it is. We could put it way over here, right? So everyone can see just how silly it is. I want to rotate it, but you can't. That's, that's why. I know there's a mod that lets you do it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to implement any additional mods. All right. We'll put it right here for you. There you go. Ready? I don't think we're going to hook anything up for water here, so... Put it right there, okay? Be happy. You're getting a big old wind turbine that's covered by the scrubber, okay? All right. So, we have more than enough on electronic supply now, and as soon as this cold wave ends, we won't have to worry about water anymore or power anymore. I think everything here has polymer blades. Yeah, everything does. And then... Uh, this here is amplified now. Good. We got sector scan. Uh, yeah, where's where are we going from here? Right? I need I need to get Harry up here. Hey Harry, go get this. Oh, actually, no, get this instead. I want to know what technologies are available before I, I accelerate one. And then there's another anomaly up there. Oh, you know what? Harry can't get up there. Harry can't do that. Because we don't have this ramp done. You know what? Harry's going to come over and chill over here. And there's a technology I wanted to get, but I haven't... I've been trying to get the Martian diet done first because it's really great for our food output and stuff. Um, and uh, I, I want that a lot. But the one tech I wanted to get is uh, the drone printing. Because we, we just don't have enough drones. 
I want more drums. I don't have enough. This thing here is medium pretty much all the time, and it has the overwhelming majority of our drones. Because, I mean, look at it. It's covering four domes. It's every dome we have, including this new one we're building, is in range of this guy, right? So, like, it's going to be the busiest. And as a result, it has more drones. So, this one's only got three, and uh, this one only here over only has six, right? And then um, we don't even have any drones, I think, for uh, Nash. Poor Nash commander sitting over here doing nothing. Doesn't even have any drones. And if I gave him one, I guess they would be pretty much exclusive on... I guess they would, right? They'd be exclusively on the... Uh... You know what? We're going to put Nash on this. Nash, your job is to work on that ramp all, the, all day. Okay? There you go. It's only 43% done. But we're going to have you do that. All right. So the winter is done. That means we can turn off all of the subsurface heaters. So let's... Deactivate all of them. That's going to give us a huge surplus in water. And normally I'd say, okay, we can turn off some of these guys. But honestly, I think I might turn this one off. Because we got enough of these, uh, you know, we got enough vaporators here that uh, we just get water forever, right? And then all we got to do, because well, we don't have any scrubber on this, maybe we, ooh. Maybe we expand our scrubber network. We could get it. If we get it over this, then we're just good. But this is a limited quantity water supply. And uh, I, if, if I can shut this off. Okay, so we are. We're dipped what? Do we have every single evaporator online? I think so. Yes, it looks like we do. Do we have any more uh, gum? No. Okay. So we do need this on. So I think I want to get the scrubber, I'm going to call it a scrubber network. I want to get the scrubber network expanded over here to cover this. And also to cover the domes too, because we don't technically cover this dome yet. Yeah, so uh, we just got something. Uh, message just sort of came in. Soul 136. And uh, the message says, the last war before the storm. We have devastating news from Earth. So, apparently our mystery has begun. Isn't that nice? So, we have devastating news from Earth. It says, a chain of attacks. Uh, keep in mind, I have not done this one before, okay? This is one of the, this is the only, this is the only uh, hard mystery that I have not done before. Uh, I don't want any spoilers with it or anything, so please don't do that in the, in the comments. Uh, especially if you like watching chaos. Uh, that being said, uh, you know, like, I got like, what, 800, 900 hours in the game. This is the one I haven't done yet. So, we have devastating news from Earth. A chain of attacks has reduced the ruins, uh, reduced to ruins, major templates and landmarks in Southeast Asia. Preliminary estimates put the body count in the hundreds. That's actually not that much. Uh, looking at this picture, I would say that hundreds is uh, actually pretty mild. Uh, despite the scale of the attacks, the perpetrators are believed to be terrorists of a new kind. So far, no one has taken responsibility as tensions are high and the blame game is in full swing. There's still a lot of confusion. We will be following the events as closely as they unfold. Okay, so uh, the mystery is here. Mystery log. Soul 136, disturbing news from Earth. Terrorist attacks have disturbed the relative peace Earth currently enjoys. Alrighty then. So... That's the thing we're going to have to keep an eye on for a long time. Okay, I'm expanding the Tribal Electric Scrubber here. Just place this down. I was really hoping it would hit the middle of the dough, but it looks like we're going to need one more. Which is fine, because it actually doesn't cover this either. So I need another one there, too. And um, fortunately, I, I think that's that's actually a real big drag. Uh, also, you right here, Scrubber. Let's get you expanded as well. And that should cover... Oh, I wonder if that covers this. Did you get covered by this? I want to see you go off. If this goes off and this goes down, that would be amazing. Oh, it does. Oh, that's so good. I was actually, con I didn't actually know if that would work, but it does. It also covers this, so I don't have to maintain that anymore either. Perfect. Okay, I need one more scrubber to go. It looks like we have to maintain this. Concrete is a big problem. So uh, for a little while there, I didn't have this running during the the cold wave. We, I moved drones around, and uh, there was no one left to maintain this, so it went away. Uh, and then we had that meteor shower over here, and this just now getting back up and running now, too. So, uh, kind of a drag, but it is what it is. 
And I think actually the extraction speed is the main problem. So I'm gonna try to amplify this. That's gonna require us to bring two polymers. So let me just go and find uh, you. Go ahead and grab polymers, Tame. Bring that back over there on that side. Uh, we are more than good. We are more than good now with food. And um, we really don't need this at all. Uh, I can, I'm going to stop that just for a little bit. If we get low on food again, we can go ahead and do that. And then the large wind turbine, of course, needs concrete. Uh, and that's that's the big bottleneck at the moment is concrete. It, it always was going to be because we just don't have a whole lot over here. So um, try to make that work now. But we've got uh, Nash Commander back over here. And he can manage this whole area again. Oh no, tensions are rising. Not, not now, not now. In the wake of the attacks in Asia, many dormant grievances between the nations affected have been reignited. Some of which go far back in time. The UN has set out a tension meter as it warns that the situation has the potential to escalate into an all out war if measures aren't taken. Okay. The goal of the meter is to try and give an objective representation of where things are now and to help us understand what works and what doesn't. Everyone in the UN is asked to step in and do all they can to help calm the spirits. So far, we can see no adequate way to help from here. So effect, you must find ways to keep the tension from reaching 100%. Upon bringing tensions down to 0%, the conflicts on Earth will be successfully resolved. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if they were actually it was actually that easy in real life? <laughs> Tensions will rise up from the events that happen on Earth. Well, there is a way to bring zero percent on Earth, but uh, half the population won't like it, right? Just you have to do what the other half wants. That'll never happen. Tensions will rise up from events that happen on Earth and are out of your control. Right? How in the world? Do I bring tensions down from Mars? Is it like just by doing cool things? Inspiring people to not freak the hell out? I don't know. Um, you know, we have a lot of rare metals. I say we load up this rocket and export. You know, we got a lot of them. More than we, uh, more than we really need, actually, I think. So why don't we bring a whole bunch on this rocket and export it? That sounds fine. And, uh, because, you know, we're not making electronics that fast. We got only got five now, but, I mean, I'm also using them. So, I've added scrubbers and stuff, right? So, that's so cool how that reaches. Oh, good. Uh, this is the one I need now. And the problem with this, I think, is that it's going to have to be in this extraction zone. But it also, I don't really need it to be over here. Once this is depleted... I don't really need it done. So I think I'm going to leave this one unprotected, honestly. Which means this one here has no purpose. Because that was the whole point of going over here, is to get this. So I'm actually thinking I only get half the resources back, so I might as well leave it, right? But I was going to move, if, if I could move it, I would take this and put it here instead. Because then it would... Um, be out of the range of this, it'd be right here, and it would reach this. Because this has no point. There's nothing that this covers that something else already doesn't cover. Um, and then I'd want to move it. Unless it's, it's in an effect to get this dome, which, I mean, it kind of is. I need to get it sideways, but we're not covering this one yet, right? So, realistically, putting, putting it over here would make more sense. Because I don't think we're covering this. No. We'll cover this though, right? Yeah. We just won't cover that battery. So maybe putting it over here makes more sense. Because realistically, you'd want it to be like right here. But now I can put it here, which is, is better. It's going to cover the middle of the dome. Oh, that'll cover the middle of the dome. Yeah. We'll put it right here. It will get hit by the water extractor, but it will cover the middle of the dome, and that was the that was the point. It'll reduce polymers maintenance by one, I guess. But it also reduces machine parts maintenance, and that's what I want. So Okay. Concrete, how we doing? Well, we don't have any drones here to respond to it. Um can't be hairy. You come over here. Let's get you all the way over here. I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. Is this not in range? 
It is. Okay, now it's working. We just need more drones. I need more drones everywhere. And I think that's why I want to export the rare metals. We'll bring back a ton of drones or something. Now we have a meteor storm coming in now. So hopefully not on top of us. Hopefully not over here too. Honestly, like if you could just do it anywhere else except right here in this whole area, that'd be great. The bigger we get, the more likely it is that meteor showers will hit us, right? So looks like it's going to hit over here. That's what it looked like anyway. Is it? Please don't hit over here. I just repaired this. We got four planetary anomalies found. Interesting. Project light bulb. Ooh, a transport truck. Project Savannah. New technologies. I like it. We actually have scientists now. We could do this. Project Armstrong. Speed. Select a point of interest. Excuse me? Oh, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I thought I clicked this and then I was... All right. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I was like, what's going on here? Uh, botanist breakthrough. You know, let's send, a let's send the botanist breakthrough. This is already preparing for one, so we could send Perseverance. Hmm, what are you preparing for right now? Oh, you know what? I bet you're preparing, you are. You're being prepared for, all right, I'm gonna cancel that expedition. You're being prepared for the meteors, all right? I don't want you prepared for the meteors. So instead of the meteors, what we'll do instead is have you go to this. And we'll send four of our botanists for this breakthrough. Uh, we'll send Curiosity. So four of our botanists will go. We'll go with you and all we need now is to unload the fuel easy stuff uh it says we're low on electronics but eh. i mean we're gonna make more right every single building in here that's got a wrench over it is because of concrete like this entire situation needs to be resolved as soon as possible concrete is the bane of my existence right now um did you drop off the polymers hi can you do that please and then I want you, because this needs to get amplified, which it's about to. Um, then I need to, if I'm going to amplify this, though. Ooh. Ooh, no, it's bad. So if I'm going to amplify this, it'll use more power. So then I'll have to amplify this, too. Ah, oh, never mind. Forgetting about, this, forgetting about the little things, guys. All right, let's grab this concrete, please. Like, all of it. Oh, no. Not right now. Not right now. Get away. Get away. Shoo. Shoo. There you go. Good. All right, move. Oh, landing pads. Landing strips for the win, guys. All the way over here. And then I want you to grab that as well. All of it. We're going to have Timmy do it. Sanity breakdown. The Luddite, the Luddite vibe. Oh no, a colonist has gone mad, donning a spacesuit and unable, <clears throat> the unstable individual has occupied one of our drone hubs. Wow, my voice gone. Voice totally gone. Threatening to destroy it. Uh, transmitting a video stream from inside the building. The angry colonist screams, I can't take it anymore. Machines, machines. Only bloody senseless soulless machines. I will destroy them, all of them. Then all of a sudden, the red alert lights flash. Yutani Red World has set the building to self-destruct. Can't afford to lose the hub. No, we can't. Um, we can't afford to lose the hub, dude. What? What? Wait. What building? What hub? Is it a sub? Is it a drone hub? Yeah, we can't afford to lose that hub. The repair teams rush to the building and make the best attempts to stop its destruction. Following your instructions, they completely disregard the extraction of the crazy colonist. The building was saved, and the Red World has died. A colonist has died. Hey, you know what? The drone hub was saved, and that's way better. Way better, okay? I don't care about this. I don't care about this guy, okay? Redwood. No thanks. Um, probably going to have to cut power there, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and... Uh, just bring that back if I can. Hi. Let's have, uh, well, one of our drones needs to go do that. God, I'm so low on drones, man. You. It's because of this ramp, too. That's not helping things. 
come over here and get medals. And then we're gonna bring you. Well, you're gonna have to re you're gonna have to recharge yourself first, aren't you? All right. You know what? Pause the ramp for a bit, right? And let's uh, let's go. Let's pause the ramp for a bit. Okay. Got stuff to do. Timmy, I need you to bring this stuff over here. And uh, drop your uh, just drop your resources down over here, please. You got a bunch of concrete. And then uh, we're gonna pause this ramp. It's take fifty percent. Just ugh. There's so much to do on that ramp too, you know. And there's so much stuff up there too. I need to. I want to get that stuff. Like there's. This is actually a great spot for a dome. Look at all those resources. We'd be good on metal for a long time, which is good because we're starting to run a little low on metals. We only got 20 days left until our metals are gone. Oh, Perseverance is ready to lift off with almost all of the rare metals we would need to. I, I, I'm going to do it anyway. Screw it. I don't want to wait anymore. I, I want the drones or I want the. Uh, yeah, no, I want the drones. Go launch, take off, go back home. I want the drones. Harry just got whacked by uh well probably, you know, dust devils. They're a big pain in the ass. Where is the Where's the meteor shower happening? Oh, maybe that was the end of it. Oh, it was happening oh uh, you know, maybe that was up here. Okay, that's why I was confused because I was sending the rocket to capture meteors and around that same time The side of the screen said uh, meteor shower ending or meteor shower and it had a duration. So I figured that was Never mind. You guys got it. We're good uh, Drones like seriously, I need somebody to come over and fix this stuff you get this resource and come over here and you've already laid that line in. I want you to, you know what? Screw it. Put that, put that back. I need you to unload this rocket. You are now, you are reassigned to this. Okay. This is yours. I want you to unload this rocket. Can I have you unload? Can you unload? No, you're not going to unload. It says you have to unload the fuel to leave, but I don't see anyone unloading the fuel. No. Oh no. Timmy. Timmy, come back. Timmy, we have much work to do, Timmy. Come back. I need you to gather concrete. And uh, bring it back. Just wherever we can get it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Bring it all the way back over here is fine. I just need to make sure these buildings all get repaired because people are going to be freaking out. And it's not good. This is not good stuff. Okay. Comfort is way down now. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. There you go. There's your stupid wind turbine. You happy? Are you happy? There you go. You know who you are. Are you happy? Your stupid wind turbine. Oh, boy. At least we're good on food now, of all things. This entire problem, by the way, gets all solved with more drones. That's Great it. Dust storm approaching. Okay. I have a feeling that will put a damper on our ability to get drones. Martian diet is going to work. I don't need this yet. Right, Like, right this minute, I don't need this. What I need is drone printing. Like, I'm good on food at the moment. Um, I could be better on food, don't get me wrong. Like, every, every minute that ticks by, we're using more food than necessary. I get that. And our population is going to start growing with new domes, so that's going to be a problem. But um, this, I think this, I just need it. I need it. It takes a while to print drones, though, doesn't it? I think it does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let that, com I'm gonna let that complete. And then maybe we turn. What are we gonna do with you? Other than provide additional housing. I think, I think this was going to be our renegade dome, right? Renegades are only allowed to live in here. And then they could farm and... Yeah. I think I might do that instead. Because they do they do steal stuff from over here. Sector scanned. But this has... This has security now to, to deal with them. So maybe it's not as vital as I think it is. 
finally starting to have births. We're up to four kids. Well, at least we have we have four youths, so we've we've completely replaced the kids we had before. Oh. You go up like this. Okay. But that should cover this too, I think. <clears throat> I think. Yeah, 82, good. Okay. We've taken care of the machine parts maintenance issue there. And hopefully this doesn't get too bad. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye on it because it is in the uh, dust zone for this. But I'm hoping it'll be okay because we have that scrubber scrubbing it, of course. So, Timmy, what are you up to, sir? Honestly, I think you just drop it right here. Just drop all your resources right here. It's fine because they'll they'll send drones to pick it up. It'll happen. Let's go all the way over here. Do it again. Concrete, bring it back. Over here is fine. All right, I'm going to let this play for a little bit because I feel like I need to. Um, just kind of trying to deal with the concrete crisis is all it really is. Everything else is solid, honestly. Like, we've got more than enough fuel, tons of machine parts. We just don't have drones. We're even starting to have a nice surplus of electronics, too. Like, we're producing them pretty fast. We've got a whole work shift full of engineers, pretty much. So, um, this is all working pretty well at the moment. Um, and, and we don't have a whole lot of homeless. It's, it's okay. Unemployed issues, not really that much of an issue. So the big thing is concrete and, uh, yeah, concrete and drones. And I want to make drones. So I'm going to let this play on. And uh, if the mystery chimes in again, I guess we'll uh, look at it then. The great dust storm's going to suck. But, uh, and maybe we'll even get this unloaded. Who knows? We only got three more fuel left to unload. Maybe they'll get to it. Actually, I should I should accelerate this, shouldn't I? Let's temporarily, we're going to do this. And we're going to give a whole bunch of drones to this one. So temporary influx of drones on this side. We should be able to lift this rocket off pretty much right away if we do that. And then we can lift it off and hopefully get it back before the Great Dust Storm. That's the, that's the ticket there if we can. Guys, can we unload this, please? Come on now. Maximum priority. Let's go. You there, Timmy. Unload your resources right there. I know. I just I told it to go over here and I didn't. Yeah. All right, Timmy. Good. Get back. Get it back over here and do the thing. Uh, right like this. Concrete. Bring it. Drop it off. Okay. Rockets lifting off. Good. Hopefully we can bring them back before the Great Dust Storm and then we'll have a breakthrough we can research. Huh? Be nice. We're 80% done with Martian diet. And I do feel like, you know, now that we're allowing birds again, it will, uh, we're going to get a big, you know, increase in population once more. So, uh, cause we have good comfort, 80 comfort in this dome. This one's lacking, but that's just cause the main buildings for comfort were not being maintained. And, um, you know, now they are, oh, this is just a, it's a real drag, not having concrete nearby. We need a solid resource for concrete. And this all, again, this all gets solved once we get shuttles, right? Because then the shuttles can just go do this. And I don't need to go back and forth anymore. I can set up remote stations, like down here, for example. Get another one that's average. We can put another operation up here. Maybe we'll do like a couple of sterling generators. Um, maybe some landing strips here to help with the dust devils. Uh, maybe. But uh, we can... Uh, find these little sources right and we just have a bunch of concrete extraction all over the place and then the shuttles can take care of it for us and that's that's what i'd really like to have happen um not a whole lot up here either like the the best places for drones simply the best places for our our domes just simply don't have concrete and there's a ton over here too but it's low grade low grade average is there any high grade at all above average even Okay, very high there. Yeah, so we'd want to work this one if we could, right? That's a pretty good one. And then, you know, the big thing that's stopping me from expanding this way is concrete as well. This one's done, so I can build that whenever I want. Just hit the button and it builds. Um, I'm debating whether or not I want to connect it here or not. This space is open for the possibility of connecting. And I don't know if I need to. I'm waiting on that. Population being home, people being homeless and stuff, it kind of leads me to believe maybe that's a a thing I should do. Also, maybe maybe we 
prioritize research. Yeah, let's do that just for a little bit. And then uh, these are all just no specialized or no specialization. Perhaps we put another college over here. Because these guys can't go to school. If they live here, they can't go to school. School's way over here. And they're not going to travel between... Like, they're not going to bypass through a dome to go to another dome to go to school. Okay, so the breakthrough uh, from that little task. It actually took no time at all to, to, to get that. Um, it's this. Wireless power. Recharge stations. Service drones in a three hex range instantly. It says Tesla once predicted that wireless power would be attain obtainable anywhere on Earth, illuminating and powering vehicles in the most remote of places. Ultimately, his prediction came true. He only got the planet wrong. Ah, <laughs> I was like, he did? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, recharge stations here. So uh, that's not a bad one. It's pretty good. Once we you know, expand how many drones we have and stuff, that's going to be great. Uh, I like this Amplify. It gives bigger boost production, too. We're probably going to get that pretty quick here, too. And then we obviously want our drones to move faster. We've got a couple of compounding things here. But priorities, right? Priorities in Martian break. I think the Martian diet is the big priority for now. Just I'm, I'm going to be uh, expanding my uh, my population. Oh. I, I honestly think it's not the biggest priority here. We should probably switch to something else. But because it's so close, I just want it. Because, you know, every minute that ticks by, we just... You know, it's food. So, food is like, it is life. So, if, uh, if we run out of food, everyone dies. And then everything else collapses. So, but we're doing really well on food here. And then it also reduces, it's going to help my water too, once I do that. Because uh, I'll need less farms to sustain the population growth. Looks like all my batteries are full too. That feels really good. We have concrete, 57 concrete. We don't even need this. Honestly, I don't need this ranch. I'm just going to leave it paused kind of forever. Uh, and Unless we are like, oh my god, I need more food. And then maybe. But I don't need it. It's uh, These farms are going to gonna be hauling ass. It's going to be nice. 70% soil quality here. 60 here. Why don't we go ahead and just let that be soybeans forever right now? Um, same thing with you. We're going to do soybeans twice and then the wheat. That way it'll be 80 and then 90%. And then you are at 80% already. We'll go ahead and let you just get to 100. Um, actually, we can do that right now. Let's go. It'll be... This will just do it automated. It's fine. So, uh, okay, so that'll take care of all the food problems uh, forever. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, I still need to, I still need to let it play, guys. Um, as much as I'd love to just have product... Have, have things moving quickly. The concrete is a bottleneck. Right? I can't build anything without concrete. So I'll be right back. Okay, got some funding. A uh, little update here. Our rare metals made it back to Earth. $664 million. I'm going to actually take and go ahead and just get a bunch of drones here, I think. $51 million each, but I, I, I need more. I, I think 10 is a good number, honestly. Like, I need a whole lot more of these things. Um, and then, you know, like if there's actually... You know what? Actually... Prefab, drone hub. Two drone hubs makes more sense because it also produces more. So two drone hubs instead, I think, is, is better here. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And um, do we want any seeds? Bring any seeds? Uh, yeah, like, no? Yes? No? I don't know. Maybe? We don't have... We're not really doing anything with that yet. I'm gonna go with no. Let's just bring the drones. Let's get everything that related to drones. Let's go, because that will solve a whole lot of our problems. Like logistics is a really big deal right now. Um, so we'll do that. And then uh, the great dust storm is starting now. There's gonna go for about three days. Fun times there. Yep, and we gotta instantly have a leak. Isn't this wonderful? Isn't this lovely? Uh, do you think we're gonna... Like, it's a big leak, too. Like, it just sucks everything out, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, sure. We'll just get rid of that. Very nice. Um, so, water is gonna be the principal concern, obviously, right? Because when you... Uh, well, like, look at it. Look at it. <laughs> That's the problem. So, first thing I think we're gonna do here is stop fuel production. We can preserve as much water as we can here. And it looks like we have three souls, six hours worth. Yep. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and build that pipe one more time. Just bring that back in. Um, make sure, you know what? I, th I think actually we'll shut down polymers production, at least on one of them for the time being. That'll help with water as well. Uh, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm both. Maybe both. We're amplifying here. Uh, you know, I think I'm both. We can, we can, we can shut this down. They can work other jobs for now. And, uh, that will also help us on our water. Not, not right now, uh, right? It'll help us Anomaly during the day when we were normally going to be working it, so. Um, so it looks like Martian-born resilience and microfusion is now available. Nice job, Harry. Uh, microfusion there. Artificial sun is awesome. It's expensive. I kind of like this. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with the whole mystery thing. Um, but I kind of like MDS. But I also think I need to go down the robotics tree, like stat. And I also really need to get into this. So I think carbonate processor, maybe, here. Start working on, uh, start working on the landscaping stuff. Uh, eh, import greenhouse gases is pretty good, too, I suppose. Yeah, improves water, special projects, planetary view. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. We'll look at it once we get our uh, diet thing sorted out. And then I also think, just for the time being, maybe we cut one of these farms. We have a lot of food. That would help with water as well. Although, as long as I... And I don't care about power leaks. I've got a huge surplus of power, so I don't care about power leaks. Um, I'll only, I'm will only i only going to address a leak problem if it's water. Uh, if it's just power, then whatever. I don't care. Speaking of power, how are you doing? You guys are going to be breaking down very fast, which means we're going to need more machine parts. Let's load up the machine parts off of this, and I uh, can't get those. So we'll just bring Timmy all the way over here. Bring him some more machine parts, because they're going to need to maintain these machines pretty quickly here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. They've only got... Uh, they got one here. That's not enough to service everything, so... So Timmy is going to drop off his machine parts right there. Yep, they're already grabbing them, so... We'll bring him two more, and then we'll take the concrete back. Alright. The great dust storms. Yeah, it's like so much maintenance all the time, man. And we are actually not scrubbing this dome, so I'm going to put another scrubber in right here, and that should cover this dome. Or is it better to cover... Ooh, hey. I don't think you're covered. I don't think you're covered. I think, instead, we put it right here. Oh? Uneven terrain, that's why. Uh, if I put it here, I'm going to have to do another one. I do like the idea of covering that though. That is not covered. I could do it here. That'll that'll do it. It could be a little closer than everything, but like it'll it'll work. At least it works. I'm gonna do it. Make that a high priority here too. We're good for days on power. So many days on power. Uh, we can last easy on oxygen life support. It's the water that's a problem, and um, you know we gotta manage the water. Uh-oh. Local wars in the third world. The ripples made by the attacks on Earth have toppled governments and paved the way for opportunists to ride a wave of populist fury. Always. Border skirmishes uh, are slowly spilling into full-scale invasions, and the major powers are so far failing to instate a ceasefire. The relative peace Earth has been enjoying for the past century now seems to have been made seems to have been a fragile facade beneath which grudges and ambitions have been festering in wait for the right moment. The organization responsible has all but vanished after accomplishing more than it could have possibly hoped for. We, on the other hand, as a symbol of what humanity can achieve when working together and not by fighting between ourselves, are in a unique position to make a statement which may, have be, which may be of actual merit to the situation. I don't need the applicants. Um, we're just going to say the United, uh, only United can we hope to conquer the void, which is obviously going to help everyone. It's going to be great. Uh, war tensions increases to 5%. It says increase to 5%. 
I think it's supposed to say buy like this one does. Uh, this one says 50 new applicants, uh, but the earth, uh, the war tension will increase. We don't need the applicants, right? So it's going to be this. And uh, I'm pretty sure it increases by five. Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, hopefully there's an option in the future where we can like make it go down by some chance. I don't know. We certainly don't need any of those people over on Mars. We're, we're good here. We don't have any fights. We never fight, right? Uh, I think this rocket shows up after the storm is done. That's good. And then Curiosity's getting uh, getting loaded up for a new expedition. Oh, hang on. Stop. You. Eh, eh. Alright. Eh. Okay. Good. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, put that pipe back in uh, after. I think we do it after. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that built right yet. So I'm just going to pause that because this machine's down the whole time anyway. Martian diet finally done. Martian board adaptability is going to be nice because uh, we want people graduating from universities faster. However, I'm also interested in sustainable architecture. It's a pretty good one. And I think I'd rather have that one instead. The concrete maintenance is hitting me hard. I think I should have had that before, but I was busy going down physics to get scrubbers, okay? Now that we've got the scrubbers, I can backpedal and go back to the things I should have gotten before. Um, like drone hub, for example. Build your own hubs. I don't even have that. That's why I can't do it. Um, water reclamation would be cool, but we have so many bonuses now on, you know, like not using as much water. We have so many bonuses in that regard that I don't think it's necessary. Water requirements of crops reduced by 50% here. Um, we also have, there's another one. I forget what it is, but um, there there's another one somewhere. I forget. Officers and medics have plus 10 performance. Um, we could do this one for money if we want it. The Hawking Institute would be nice to replace all of our existing labs with Hawking Institutes. Decorations have decreased service, com have increased service comfort. This one. Don't take sanity damage from working out of dome buildings would be nice. Uh, so we're going to go to sustainable architecture. And then I think after that, Martian-born adaptability. And then I, get, I think after that, drone printing. Um, so we're going to want to go, let's see, drone printing. Where is it? Right. Oh, where's my drone printing? Okay, boom. Then adaptability is going to be where, 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 where? Oh. You can never find what I'm looking for. There. And then the sustainable architecture is... Uh, not there. There. All right. That's the order I want that in. Go. Because concrete maintenance, man, like most of our in-dome buildings are concrete. So if we can have them have maintenance less often, it will really help us. It will help so much. Scanning okay, new sectors. We have uh, some more underground metals. There, deep metals right there. Tons of metals over here. Speaking of metals, Timmy, what you doing, dude? You want to get some metals? No, you want to get concrete. Grab the concrete, please, and send it back over there. It's good enough. Okay, so I think uh, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm not sure how long it is, but I feel like it's long. Uh, we've got, uh, we got our mystery started. You know, war tension's almost 20%. We've expanded our scrubber network a bit, although it's not really helping much right now because the Great Dust Storm still hits you regardless. Um, it, it looks like, though, the scrubbers can withstand the Great Dust Storm pretty well by, by covering themselves. Um, these ones here actually are covering... These two are being... See, see this one here? These two are covering each other, but it's not covering this one. But this one is covering that one, so this one's like double covered, right? Um, and then this one is now finally covering that. So all I need to do is expand it. And uh, now we're going to also be scrubbing the dome, which is concrete maintenance. Oh, can we can we have that ping before this needs it? Please? No. No. Come on, maintenance. It's going to mean they're going to want to maintain it anyway. Yeah, it's not going to it's not going to go. It's already 100 percent. So I'm pretty sure they're going to maintain it anyway. Yeah. There it is. Uh, okay, so it's 99, 95. I think they still do it, though. I think. In any case, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it here. So, great dust storm. Two days on this. 
and it's going to be close on water, but I think we're going to be okay. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Like the, like the videos if you like them. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, check out Prison Architect. That's going to start now, too. Wednesday, which is probably tomorrow. When you guys see this video, it's probably tomorrow. So anyway, take care. Love your faces. We'll see you. Bye-bye.